Hi, I'm Caleb Giddings from Gun of the Magazine, and today we're going to talk about an issue that's important to a lot of shooters, and that's cross-eye dominance. What is cross-eye dominance? Well, it's if you're, say, left-handed, but right-eye dominant, or right-handed and left-eye dominant. Obviously, it's more common for people to be right-handed than it is to be left-handed, so you're probably going to see right-handed people with left-eye dominance more often. Is cross-eye dominance a problem? No, it actually isn't. It is one of the most blown out of proportion issues that you will see when it comes to shooting handguns. We're going to illustrate in this short video how to solve the problem of cross-eye dominance that isn't really a problem at all. Now let's set things up for this video. I'm right-handed when it comes to shooting and right-eye dominant. This video will not address the issue of cross-eye dominance when it comes to rifles and long guns. It is actually more tricky over there. We only want to look at cross-eye dominance when it comes to handguns. A lot of times when a shooter is discovered to be cross-eye dominant, bad instructors, and I do mean that. I mean, if you tell someone what I'm about to say about cross-eye dominance, you're a bad instructor. A bad instructor will say, oh, well, if you're left-eye dominant, you should just shoot left-handed. That's terrible advice, and if an instructor gives you that advice, you should just leave their class. I am so dead serious about that. Let's see instead how you can address the issue of cross-eye dominance. To illustrate how to fix the cross-eye dominance issue, which isn't an issue, I'm going to use this Smith & Wesson M&P core. Now the reason I'm going to use this particular gun is because it has an optic on it and you'll actually be able to see my eye through the optic. So I'm going to illustrate aiming obviously with my right hand, with my dominant eye, how the gun lines up. So I'm going to point this gun at the camera. I'm very sorry, internet safety Nazis. But this is what this looks like. Alright, so you can see my eye through the lens and you can see that everything is lined up with my right eye. I'm keeping both eyes open. I'm gonna close my left eye to make that even more obvious. Everything's lined up with my right eye. Now, what would I do in this situation if I was cross-eye dominant, or what would I advise a new shooter to do in this situation if they're cross-eye dominant? It's pretty simple, actually. I would tell them to move the gun three inches to the left. Here's an illustration. I am, again, aiming the gun with my right eye, my dominant eye. Now, let's say I want to aim it with my left eye. So what I'm going to do, because I'm very right eye dominant, I do actually need to close my right eye to do this. I'm going to close my right eye, and I'm going to move the gun over. Whoa. Crazy. So now, I'm aiming with my left eye. Hang on one second. And now my right eye. And now my left eye. If you're... Doing this with both eyes open, it's even easier than if you're having to close one eye. Again, I'm very, very right eye dominant, so it's easier for me to illustrate that by closing one eye. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Caleb, you're using Gamer Isosceles. What if I'm trapped in 1989 and I'm still using Weaver? Well, shockingly enough, this still works with Weaver, too. Watch, I'm going to go, I'm going to blade on, get a little uh, peanut butter Weaver time going here. Now, here's Weaver through my dominant eye. Again, both eyes are open and I'm looking at the target. All right, now here's Weaver through my dominant eye with one eye closed. Now, here's Weaver through my left eye, one eye closed. Whoa, it's crazy. So yeah, you move the gun maybe three inches in either direction to solve the cross-eye dominance issue. Now, I'm going to show you this with an iron sight gun, just so you can get an idea of what it'll look like. Okay, now we have our iron sight gun. This is the Lionheart LH9. I've been carrying this. I've been shooting it a lot. I actually really like this gun. I'm very impressed with its performance so far. I'm going to use this to demonstrate the cross-eye dominance fix. First, again, here's both eyes open, aimed in at the target uh, using my right eye. I'm going to close one eye just to illustrate this. I'm going to close my other eye and I'm going to move the gun over, just like that. That's as hard as it is. So if I was right-handed and left eye dominant, I would just aim the gun like that from an isosceles stance. It works the same with Weaver, too. Again, let me show you the Weaver. So here's Weaver, dominant, you know, excuse me, and I even shoot a good ISO when I'm trying to Weaver. All right, here's Weaver. And here's everything all tucked and push-pull and whatever nonsense. And I'm using my right eye. Now I'm going to close my right eye and open my left eye. And I'm going to move the gun over. Again, 
it's the same thing. You just need to move the gun two, three inches, whatever it takes. Just one last time, right eye, left eye. It's not a big shift. And it, does, and it saves you the trouble of having to learn to use a whole nother hand to shoot. So again, I cannot stress this enough. If you are cross-eye dominant and an instructor tells you that you should switch shooting hands to match your eye dominance when it comes to a handgun, this doesn't apply to rifles, that's a whole nother can of worms that I'm not going to address in this video, but if they tell you to switch your shooting hand to match the dominance of your eye, you should leave their class. They're a terrible instructor and they don't know what they're talking about. And if an instructor doesn't know what they're talking about on an issue as basic as what to do with eye dominance, I wouldn't trust them on a lot of other issues as well. I'm Caleb Giddings. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos.